jumpertaster.com is a 2008 and these are frozen bristles with bristles all right uh, comes very big box it says 10 units okay and here likes the directions and nutrition facts and everything let's check it out so we got fat 7 I'm 1.7% which is an awesome low value and 8% carbon hydrate so it's some sort of really healthy <laughs> if you don't use too much salt basically and you do it in the oven on a baking sheet for 60 minutes yep so let's check it out it's low value for money no premium nothing <laughs> and ah, they look funny, don't they? Yeah. And here's like the salt. And I can tell you, this cardboard smells like cardboard. <laughs> okay, and I'm not quite sure whether it's even too much. I think it's too much for my little baking sheet here. Anyways, I put some on. Yeah. I don't know why it has to be such a mega packaging. And as you can see, they are very pale right now. I'm asking myself, I think this is pretty lovely. I'm asking myself whether they will get um, brown. We will see. <laughs> yeah, the baking sheet is far too small. I think I need two. Ah, let's make a disaster. Let's put. <laughs> Let's put everything on. Let's don't care. Okay. <laughs> so now comes the salt. And I personally don't like salty pretzels. So I'm sort of. Uh, I want to try out how. Un <laughs> oh god, how, how should this work actually? This is ridiculous. It doesn't stick to the... Do I, ah, I think I do something wrong. Um, here, it says something about 10 minutes. Room temperature. And then the salt. So it doesn't stick on frozen. So I'll add 10 minutes and then we will continue. Alright. So yeah, 10 minutes are over. Uh, it's really the same like before. <laughs> um, let's try it. So, yeah, it sticks maybe a little bit more than before. Um, good. And I think I got the second pack. <laughs> when you're on this sister. I don't care anymore. This is useless. Anyways, let's put this into the oven. Alright guys, so here we are. Let's put it in there. Um, so, so, so. Full power. Not really full power. Here in Greece. And here we go. I'm just wondering how it will be when it's finished. Alright guys, so we are in the middle somewhere. And yeah, it gets very slowly at 10. Uh, let's have a look. And oh no! It's sort of mutated into one big thing. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it has some sort of yeast um, with doors in the air. Oh, I, no, no, I will have a gigantic mega press. <laughs> Alright guys, so time is up. Let's investigate uh, my gigantic cooking fail. And I think I'm turning the light back on at least here. Um, yeah. As you can see, it really turned into one big super mega pretzel. Um, it feels kind of soft here, touching it with a knife. 
and it got some bubble. I think it's finished now. Here at the start, and it looks kind of pale. But here, if you look a little bit more in the background, it's done. Here, it got some bubbles on the surface, which I think is not the salt. <laughs> looks kind of uh, strange and nasty. So, I think we will check out this big piece of pretzel in this video. Alright guys, so I let it cool off for quite a while now, I can touch it now. And so there it is, the biggest industrial made pretzel of all time. Ah, the, oh, and it's bought into pieces. The uh, salt is on the back side, so it's not completely wasted. Very good. It fell into... Ah, here, I separate one. It's not that bad, the cooking fail. But I'm the anti-cook. It, it was to be expected, wasn't it? <laughs> Alright, so... I think I cut now. I think I have to cut, haven't I? I always cut stuff. Ah, here we go. And I thought I liked the door. It's some sort of very elastic, soft door, and I think it will be very pleasant now for me to eat it. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. oh. <coughs> um, oh, no. Mm -hmm. Um, I dislike the taste of the door. It tastes like a bad pizza taste or something. Yeah. Like it smells. I said it smells a bit like um yeast and it tastes also like the tastes like if like the baking agent would not be fully something some cooking fail. Tastes like a cooking fail. No 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 fail. Okay. Um, I'm not quite sure how the proce procedure in like a, a Brussels factory is or like a proper bakery, but I think doing it in an oven like this sort of doesn't work. Why did it wrong? I, I, maybe it's it's too much. I, well, I had to heat it longer, but but as you can see, it already got like damages from too much heat, so. I don't get it. If we had ever uh, made prepared frozen pretzels, have experience, let me know. Uh, let me know if I did anything wrong here. <laughs> it feels good, it's a nice consistency, but it tastes not that good. I have like eaten pretzels like normal ones. This year, maybe, it depends which spot you eat. Probably I also <laughs> I don't like pretzels in general. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you learned something. So if you put something into the oven which expands, it will form a cluster. That is at least what you have uh, learned today. Otherwise that's it. I hope you enjoyed this review. And thanks for watching. Gut, das sind jetzt Pretzel aus dem EDK. Genau, nicht die Verpackung. Naugenbrezel. Zehn Stück. Also eine riesen Box. Ich frage mich, warum es zehn Stück sein müssen. So, ich habe die dann alle drauf getan. Mir war das dann alles noch Nochmal einfrieren oder so. Ist nicht bei mir. Alle drauf. Ähm, Salz ist halb so schlimm, weil sich dann lagert sich das Salz unten an, wenn man es daneben schüttet. Ist egal. Man immer noch genug Salz drauf. Ähm, ja, hier das größte industriell gefertigte Brezel der Welt, habt ihr jetzt gesehen hier. Ist aber in drei Teile zerfallen, so ist es nicht. Und ja, es riecht total nach Hefe und schmeckt, ich habe erst hier diese Stelle gegessen, hier total widerlich nach Hefe geschmeckt. Ähm, nee. Ist hier überhaupt Hefe drin? Wo ist denn die Zutatenliste? Das schmeckt so, als ob es nicht fertig ist, so.
Ich weiß nicht, was hier steht. Irgendwas, irgendwas hier, Backhefe, genau so schmeckt das. Gleich die zweite Zutat. Ich gucke hier hinten, ne? Es schmeckt brutal nach Hefe und riecht auch brutal nach Hefe. Kein Bock, ey. Genau, Fail. Für mich, ja, ja, gut. <lacht> Ihr habt ihr eh mal so Tiefkühlbrezel gemacht? Äh, kann das überhaupt so klappen, ähm, wenn ihr in der Bäckerei arbeitet? Wie macht ihr die dort? Äh, oder habe ich hier was falsch gemacht? Und so weiter. Interessiert, äh, interessiert vielleicht die anderen Zuschauer, was sie falsch gemacht haben? <lacht> ja, ich bin stolzer Antikoch. Ich will mich nicht unbedingt verbessern. Wie <lacht> mag sein, das wäre soweit. Und danke fürs Zusehen. Und bis zur nächsten Folge.